Spiders no spinning. Birds no knots. How do they know that? This is a weaver bird. Male weaver birds weave nets as a way to attract female weaver birds. All these nests were made by weaver birds. How do they know how to do that? This is a mole rat. Mole rats live in underground burrows. Teams of mole rats dig new tunnels. How do they know how to do that? Of course, everybody knows beavers build dams, but it's pretty complicated. How do beavers know how to build dams? Or take this bug. It's called a leaf rolling weevil because it folds leaves into neat packages to keep its eggs safe. How do all these animals know how to do the complicated things they do? They were born knowing how to do them. That's how. A lot of animal behavior is there from birth. It's innate. Take this mouse. What was she born knowing how to do? Sniff things, feel her way with whiskers, explore. No one had to teach her to do those things. Some animals also learn. This mouse can learn. I'm going to put her in this maze. Let's see what she does. Okay. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. She's exploring. Mice are born explorers. And she happens to find some food at the end of the maze. Now she knows it's there. Let's see what happens if we do it again. This time, let's see how long it takes her to get to the food. Let's try it again. Forty-seven seconds. Nine seconds faster this time. Way to go, Mouse. She's learning. She's learned two things. That there's a treat at the end of the maze and that there's a way to get to it. And with each try, she learns to get to it faster. This mouse is learning by trial and error, but some animals need to learn from their parents. For instance, orangutans. You might think they're born with all the skills they need for jungle survival. They are born with many innate behaviors, but in fact, they need to learn a lot too. Here's a story about some young orangutans that were separated from their mothers before they learned all their skills. They're going to need some help. That's where the people at the Orangutan Rehabilitation Center in Sabah, Malaysia, come in. Miguel is at the center with Sylvia Isito. She is the first woman forest ranger in Malaysia. She's going to introduce Miguel to some of the younger orangutans. Our main concern are the orangutans. Oh, wow. 
Wait a second, we're getting in the cage? Yes, we're getting in the cage and I'm going to introduce you to some of them. Hello, Fuji. They're not Good dangerous, morning, are they? No, they're not dangerous. Come on, Fuji. Okay. That is why people like to keep them as pets. Oh. Well, what's so important about the orangutans? Orangutans are endangered species. And there are about 5,000 estimated in the whole world. If we don't try to introduce them back to the wild, we couldn't increase the population because, for one thing, they don't breed in captivity. And if people keep keeping them as pets, they don't want to go back to the wild. And that is not a good way. Oh, oh, come on, Fuji. That's your friend. Come on. They're very affectionate. Yes. Okay, come on, Fuji. Up. Fuji. Fuji. Come on, down. Down now. Fuji. Why, why is it that you want to discourage them so much from touching people? Well, that is what we are trying to do. Because they have been kept as pets and they get so used to people that they don't even want to get back to their natural environment. That is, they don't really want to get back to their own, where they belong. Orangutans are just like small kids. They need to be taught and it needs a long process. How, do, how is it that you actually do this? How do you put them back in the wild? We have to undergo a certain process from which we have to train them all the survival skills they need before they are being brought back or released back to the forest. And this takes a lot of time. <laughs> okay, come on, down come on. you go. Fuji, down. She gets so attached with people. Normally, what, it, what we do here is orangutans, at the very tender age, we used to train them to a nearby forest. That's, mm -hmm. uh, we release them every morning, uh -huh. teach them to climb trees, encourage them. Well, don't they already know how to climb trees? I thought all apes or monkeys knew how to climb trees when they were young. Well, that, that is what people think, but most of the orangutans that are brought to the center are usually deprived from their mothers and since they are deprived from their mothers, they haven't learned all the skills they need or all the things they need to survive in the wild. So they don't have any mothers, so they well, won't learn unless you teach them. Yes, that is right. Oh. Most of them here are orphanage and uh, some are confiscated. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. Oh, there's the wheelbarrow. Hello. Miguel, I'd like you to meet Paimin. Paimin, this is Miguel. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? He's the uh, caretaker for the orangutans. I'm going to take them to the jungle. Come. I'm looking at the door to go. Okay. Come, 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 come. Hey. Sit. Sit down. Okay, so Paimin's going to take you to the orangutans play school. Okay. Well, this is how we do every morning. We take them to the jung to the edge of the jungle and to let them learn how to climb and how to make nests. Do you want to take the wheelbarrow? Oh, sure, can okay. I? Every day, the young orangutans are wheeled to a play area near the edge of the jungle. You guys are getting a free ride here. Here, they grow familiar with the jungle. Orangutans know how to climb. That's innate. But they need to learn that climbing can get them away from enemies and help them find food. It's essential to their survival. The rangers spend the day with them, watching them and making sure they're okay. They bring them back to the center every night. Okay, this is the place for them to train their playground. Come. Come. Now they can go out? Yeah. Now they can go out. Okay. Here, side. Come on, Santi. Ah. Take this one. Bring up here. Oh. Okay, take the Santi. We have to show them how to do this? Yeah, just take them and let them grab the, the vine and also the other stuff like that. Up you go. Okay, we're out here at the edge of the jungle. Yes. And you've just released them. 
What stops them from going all the way into the jungle? Because inside the jungle, there are wild animals that can kill them, you see, and also can eat them as a food. Here they can, they can get food easily. And also they like to stay here because we give them protection. Mm. Yeah. So you not only give them food, but you also give them protection, and that's why they always come back. Yeah. How long does it take before the orangutans are able to go out into the middle of the jungle and face the animals that can kill them and find their own food? Well, for instance, like side, it takes about uh, six to seven years to, to be able to stay inside the jungle and to defend himself from enemy. Six to seven years, that's almost like school. Yeah, this is like school. The last stage of the training is releasing the orangutans back to the jungle. It's heavy, isn't it? It's a big day, sort of like graduation day, and it doesn't happen often. But today, two of the orangutans are ready for release. Saeed and Santi are being taken deep into the rainforest to the feeding platform, where they will be left on their own. They'll be fed every day. But that's the only contact with people they'll have from now on. It gets muddier. Yeah. But they love the mud. I don't. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Oh. So this is where you're going to leave them? Yes, this is where we're going to leave them. They'll never go back to the rehabilitation compound again? No, they won't go back. So far, the center has released hundreds of orangutans back into the jungle. If their training works, Saeed and Santi will gradually stop coming to the platform to be fed. They'll learn to find food and will start families of their own, and they'll wander deeper into the rainforest. You won't believe this. We've been practicing, and I think we might have a world record here. Wow! So there you have it. A mouse, a maze, amazing. Animals are born knowing how to do some things. Even very complicated things. That's called innate behavior. But some animals also learn to do things. Young orangutans have to learn to survive in the wild. Three to One Classroom Contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.